Good morning, boys and girls. I'm Mrs. Hallberg with Second Baptist Church. I'm so glad you have joined me for virtual Sunday school today. Happy New Year! We are all set for 2021. So, Happy New Year to you. We are still talking about baby Jesus. Now, baby Jesus is going to grow up at Sunday school the whole month of January. So right now we're starting when Jesus is little. Let's get out our Bible book. It's time to read our Bible story. And we're looking in Luke 2, so in the New Testament, because we're talking about Jesus. And we're in Luke 2, and we are with um, verses 21 to 40. Now, our Bible verse comes from Deuteronomy, and it's chapter 6, and it's verse 18. Do what the Lord says is good and right. So we want to follow God's way and what he tells us to do. And this is especially true with parents that are raising the children. And that's what Mary and Joseph were doing, is they were raising baby Jesus, God's son. So we'll say it again. Do what the Lord says is good and right. And if we do follow God's way, then we know we'll always live in heaven with him forever. So that's our Bible book. So with our Bible story today, we're going to be talking about Jesus when he was little. And remember that after the incident with the wise men and King Herod, then God spoke to Joseph in a dream and told him not to go the way that um, he was going to go back to Nazareth, but that he should go to Egypt and he was traveling. So here's baby Jesus, and one of the rules in Jewish law is that the parents should take the baby to the temple and be presented to the priest and to God and to bring a sacrifice. So here they are, they're going to the temple. This is Joseph and Mary, and here's the baby. So they're headed into the big temple walls here. Now, there was a priest there and the priest wanted to see baby Jesus and blessed him. And there he is, the, the priest. And then here, Joseph and Mary, and they're walking into the temple. They're inside there. Now, long ago, there was a prophet, and his name was Simeon. And Simeon was old. And God had told him in a dream that he would see God's son before he died. And Simeon was very loving to God and worshiped God, and he stayed in the temple a lot. And so when he saw Mary and Joseph and the baby, he worshiped God and thanked him for letting him see baby Jesus. And he said, now God, I can die. My life has been fulfilled. And he was so happy. And so we have a picture of him thanking God that he was able to see the Christ child. Also there, there was a woman, she was a widow and her name was Anna. And Anna had looked alone for a very, very long time after her husband had died. And she too knew about baby Jesus and God had spoken to her. So she was like a prophetess or so. She's the lady of a prophet. And there they are, and she was so pleased, and she held the baby, and she thanked God and worshiped God and said that this truly was his special son. Now, Simeon and Anna both went and told other people about seeing baby Jesus. And why that was so special is that they were helping spread the word that baby Jesus had been born and that he came to the earth to save us. So here's another artist idea of what Simeon might have looked like and Anna coming in to see them. I have one more picture and here he is. You can tell how old he is, Simeon, by his beard. And this is Anna and she's coming. So what Mary and Joseph were doing was they were doing what the Jewish law said. They were doing what was right. They were following God's way. And they were bringing their baby, God's son, into the temple. That's why that was so very special. Well, Jesus continued to grow. And as he grew, they moved from Egypt. They later were able to go back to Nazareth finally because King Herod 
had died and there was no more risk for him. So here's Jesus as a little baby and he grew up much like you. He cooked with his mom. He helped his mom get, get the food. Here they are at a market. There are no grocery stores back then. He also played with his brothers and sisters and he helped his father in the carpenter shop. So Joseph's job when he lived in Nazareth was to be a carpenter, and that means that he made furniture. And of course, Jesus was there to help. Sometimes he played with his friends, and sometimes he played with his younger brothers and sisters, just to help out at home, just like you do sometimes. And there they are when they're going to the temple, when he's a little bit bigger. So if you look right here and see baby Jesus, in the manger and then he's starting to grow up and you can look at the sequence which means the order of our story you can see mary joseph and mary riding on the donkey traveling to the temple you can see simeon and anna holding and kissing the baby so that's what our story is about today it's about parents and children doing what's right and following in for God's way. I wanted to do our motions today for our little rhyme. It's called growing up, okay? It goes, grow, grow, growing up, just like Jesus grew. Though I'm small, I'm growing tall. Bigger every day. There's so much that I can do. Grow, grow, growing up. I do what's right with all my might at church, at home, and play. And that's our little rhyme today about growing up. Because you're getting bigger too, just like Jesus was getting bigger. Now let's see what um, Pockets is doing today. Pockets is right here. And let's see. Ah, oh, Pockets, what do you have today? Well, I had it. Oh goodness, Pockets. What's wrong today? I had it. Well, what is this? This is my suitcase. My hobo pack. It's a hobo pack. What do you got in here? Food, clothes, my stuffed bunny. Oh, well, your blanket? Do I see your blanket in there? Yes, I sleep with Blanky. Okay, well, Pockets, are you going to visit Grandma? No, I'm running away. You're running away? Well, Pockets, it's cold outside. Where could you possibly be going? Well, I'm just not loved at home. Oh, Pockets. Don't be ridiculous. You're very much loved by your parents at home. And if I remember correctly, don't you have a new baby at yourself house that loves you too? Yeah, well, that's the problem. Oh, the baby's the problem. Yes. Why is the baby the problem? Well, mommy has to feed her, change her, walk her, bathe her, all oh, stuff, stuff, stuff. Hmm. Oh, I think I'm getting ready to understand this. Pockets, are you jealous of your baby? Yes, I am. Oh, Pockets, I don't know if you remember or not, but God doesn't like it when we're jealous. You know that babies need lots of attention. Yes, they do. Well, you want to think about something else? What? Well, when you were little, guess what mommy had to do? Bathe me. Bathe me. Mm hmm What else? Uh, walk me. Rock me. Mm hmm Mommy had to do all those things for you when you were little. And now she's doing them for the baby. But soon she'll have time to help you. When? Oh, I have an idea. Let's, I'm sure the boys and girls have good ideas too. Let's think about this. Suppose that you helped mommy get the bottle or get the diapers or rock the baby or play with the baby, then would mommy have more time for you? Yes, I think so. Okay, well, let's put this down and let's think about this. I think if you help with the baby, then mommy's gonna have more time for you. But you remember, she always loves you even when she doesn't have time. Okay, oh dear, I see my baby sister. Oh, there she is. Oh, what she got? It's time for a bath. Oh, okay, you gonna hold your baby? You got like a washcloth and some soaps, some lotion? Yeah, I'm going to help my baby. I'm sorry. Yeah, you better tell your mommy you're sorry too because she would have been so worried. And if you talk to her about things or talk to God, then I think he'll be able to explain it better, okay? That would be great. All right, 
Well, you're going to give her her bath now. Okay, bye. Bye, boys and girls. Okay. Well, Puppets is going to go and give a bath to the sister, and I think that's going to be perfect because I think he's, if Puppets can feel needed with the baby, then I think that he's going to understand a little bit more about what it's like to take care of a baby. This week for your art, I would love for you to draw a picture of your family. God gives you families to love you, protect you, and take care of you. And he expects families and boys and girls to do what is right. So here, Bryn helped us and drew a picture of Mommy and Daddy and Bryn and Cooper for her family. So I'd love for you to draw this this week for your art and color it. Maybe you can give it to your mom or dad. They would think that would be so special. Well, let's do our prayer. It's almost time to go. Thank you, God, for sending your son Jesus and giving him a special family who loves you and will take care of you and we want to do what's right. Thank you for our own families and help us to do what's right. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, boys and girls. Remember to say your prayers. Remember to thank God. Remember to say your blessings, thanking God for your food. Tell your mom and dad that you love them and that you're happy that you're part of the family. See if you can do something to help your family this week. That's what Jesus would have done. Thank you. Love you. Bye.